to who watched this. My name is Andrea Fernandarevalla and my class code is 21176. So I'm going to talk about uh, the food security and a global food crisis that may be less than a decade away from now. Um, from a TED talk uh, by Sarah Menker. So she says that uh, a global food crisis uh, it may be projected to 2015 and that is not necessary to that date it's not like the due date it may be before that she uh, talks about 2027 as a probably tipping point and says that starvation and government struggles with the food systems are one of the causes of this because it's not about a uh, big scale agriculture it's not about produce more crops it's not about um, we need more um, more apples more 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 food it's about um, like stop procrastinating in the calorie deficit because she talks about the Big Macs the Big Macs, uh, if they were produced more than McDonald's produced by now, they could actually supply the calorie necessity of the world, but not the nutritional requirements. Because uh, daily value in taking calories is not the same that vitamins, proteins, carbs, and all that stuff. It's more about like which is the quality of the food that we are consuming so she says that in every market every system has a tipping point and the tipping point is too close right now because we are in 2019 and the projected due date is by 2027 so she says that the starvation and government struggles should be solved by that date. So, the nutritional calories is not equal to mass calories exporters and importers because you actually can consume uh, your daily calorie intake in one in one seat, in one um, time, in one meal. Because if you sit and um, you eat a mac a Big Mac actually, uh, you can eat around 2,700 calories but it's not uh, your nutritional requirements. So she says that people get fatter, not fitter, and get every time more and more ill because of this. The food crisis is not about deficit in food production it's about deficit in nutritional food production because a salad actually has a more cost than a Big Mac how is that possible so she says that the food system maybe do some corrections in their system so we can be able to to actually stop this global food crisis by 2025 or by 2027 and in the best of the scenarios it won't happen but it's about everyone need to take conscience about this